what does it take to become a Rocket League professional? Well, let me tell you. I'm going to take you guys back in time with me and show you what I was like when I was younger. I was a terrible player, averaging silver and gold ranks, but still having a laugh with my friends. We'd place toppers on our cars with the silliest looking boosts available, mostly the white propulsion boost. Nice. But if I wanted to be a professional, I should have started learning the mechanics right away and being able to hit the ball most of the time. Now, however, it's a different story. Players as low as Platinum can hit outrageous mechanics and the competition is slowly squeezing together. It's becoming a saturated game because there is a lower ceiling as to what can be accomplished on Rocket League. This makes it harder for potential players to move up the ranks quickly as the likes of the Smurf players. Players aren't supposed to be in the rank playing on alternative accounts to their main one. Do ruin the chance of quick rank ups. But ultimately, you have to look at the top. Players that hit SSL and top 100 consistently are the players dominating at the top. They are mostly pros or ex-professionals who have thousands of hours in the game. Now, enough of me waffling, let's get into the detail of how to be a Rocket League professional. So, tip number one, watch everything to do with pros. Mimic their behavior and the way they act. If you start acting like a pro, then you most likely will become one. Think like that, it might actually help you to get better. Now, I'm not saying drink G Fuel every day get to know the pros in every way possible. How many hours they spend on Rocket League and how they plan out their day. I know it's a little bit tricky because obviously you can't see fully what's going on in their day. But for example, we've got Squishy Muffins here who, let's say, has quite no. a few subscribers and posts a video probably once every five days. It's very difficult to tell, but let's let's go on his channel here. So he posted one one day ago, and four days ago. Obviously, take into account, let's say most of his videos are about, well, they range from 10 to 20 minutes. So think about that. Think about how long that takes to edit. Think about the recording time he takes and kind of just, just figure out what the pros are doing and kind of just figure out what the pros are doing that you're not. Number two. 10,000 hours. You heard me right. You must commit yourself to tens of thousands of hours. You are literally going to see flip resets in your dreams. But don't waste this amount of hours doing rings maps or messing around. Have a purpose, whether that be dedicating time towards a specific mechanic for one to two hours, or simply improving an area of your game like difficult saves on redirects. Now this is arguably one of the hardest things to do. Tip number three, control your emotions, honestly. Me personally, I struggle with this so much, but look at professionals. You watch their videos. Do they ever break down in anger and start beating their monitor? No. Do they ever break down in anger and start smashing their monitor? They don't, so simply work on that. It is so difficult though. This is one of the things where if there's anything that's ever gonna become difficult to do, it's this. But a few simple things you can practice to help you get nice. better. Control your breathing. No. No, that didn't work. Take off chat for your opponents. Toxicity will get to you if it's exposed to you. So remove that negativity. It will make you better mentally. Obviously, staying positive the whole time is quite difficult, but try your best because at the end of the day, this is what the pros do and this is how they've become professional. Half of it is literally just psychological mind games. If you can control your emotions, you can be 10 times better at Rocket League and be on your way to being a professional. Number four, finding ways to stay motivated. So, you're in Rocket League and you've been divisioning down all day and haven't actually managed to get a win. You're on a six losing streak, or potentially even more, and you don't know what to do. You could take one of these two options. The first one, you go into doing five or ten minutes of free play just to calm down and get your mechanics going again. Or, number two, you keep going until you end up on a win streak. Now, this is very important to do one of these two things because when you're down and out and your rank is lowering, what you don't want to do is get frustrated. Just keep going, keep being determined, and keep working at it, and eventually your rank will go back up. This is important for pros because they often have times where they could be losing every single game in an RLCS tournament. But what do they do? They come back stronger they change the tactics and therefore improving their game but it is always so important to have a backup plan so you know what you can do once you start losing overall i know this is an extremely short video but there's a reason for this no i'm not lazy and can't be bothered to create a 10 minute video but i don't want to keep you guys from becoming a professional at rocket league so what are you doing go and play the game